Okay, so on public demand, and I'm back with another video and another interview with none other than Bohemia. So this is like an uncensored uh, interview. We both are like in a very small <laughs> room, and I'm going to ask him a lot of questions. I hope you're ready for my questions. Yeah, I'm ready. The... Last time were you? No, I was not. <laughs> so this time. Today I don't have a choice. The room is small. <laughs> you are, and the yes, door you are is locked. locked. And he's locked with me inside. She locked me, guys. I would like to talk about the new album that's come out. Congratulations, first of all. And you've named your album Skull and Bones. Can I know the reason? Uh, I think it's um, it's a definition of my logo. Kali Dunali logo is basically when you see the logo, it's the skull and bones. Uh, it's it's just a it's just a skull wearing a beanie, and then in, for the bones, I replace one other bone with a pen. Pen. <laughs> and and it's just basically very much you know bare bottom um, bare bone skull and bones I mean it's 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 your skull your mind is inside of it everything that I write the whole album is is, is made by myself just like the logo just like the CD cover just like all the lyrics and music and compositions and everything I'm just everything is out, out of this one skull so I think it, it refers to that bones is basically it's you putting putting your might to it you putting your energy to it Personally, you're not relying on anyone else. You're not relying on any kind of gimmicks or marketing mm. or any kind of, you know, you know, smoke and mirrors game. It's very, very, very from my mind to your mind. So I felt like Skull and Bones, A, it represented the logo, mm -hmm. Kali Denali Music logo, and B, it represented just the energy of, of me communicated, communicating with my fans directly from my skull. Okay, so now you guys know what's the meaning of skull and bones. I don't want to yeah. see rubbish videos on YouTube. <laughs> I'm, no, I'm I asking. love it. I love it. I think a lot of people, um, <laughs> a lot of people connected uh, with the with the whole um, Illuminati. Yeah, I'm, that, that was going to be my next question because mm -hmm. I can't talk on it about it. So I'm going to put it up in the video. I don't know how to ask you this question. I don't want an answer, but are you an Illuminati? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if I was, uh, you wouldn't know, would you? I'll tell you why. It's because even I have a tattoo in my arm here. And mm. it is not an Illuminati sign. It means clairvoyant vision. That means someone who can see much more than a normal person can see. That normal person sees money, fame, and usse aage bhi badke zindagi hai. So that's the meaning of it. Is that what your sign is on Skull and Bones, the album? I think I I already explained what, the, what my sign means. But yeah, when I... Uh, moved forward with it i already got a lot of people telling me hey is this anything to do with skull and bones because the symbol looks like that and i think it it i did it on purpose because uh i wanted to i've always from the beginning of my days i've been always about opening people's minds showing them a new um you know way of thinking new way of communicating your energy uh, people thought hip-hop couldn't be done in Punjabi, I proved them wrong. People thought it couldn't be done in Bollywood, I proved them wrong. People thought I couldn't make a career out of it, I wouldn't be successful. I couldn't, you know, feed my family, mm -hmm. they were wrong. And I think um, I'm really fascinated by how a lot of young kids, especially in the internet era, um, wanna talk about, you know, Illuminati, this Illuminati, that. And then they always wanna go and search these <laughs> symbols and you know Symbol. logos and uh, so it's just uh, I, I wanted to educate people and bring their energy out of it that it, it if if there is a secret society if 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 it's a secret that means you don't know about it if exactly. you know about it then it's not, <laughs> then it's a, not secret. a secret secondly I think to uh, if, if there is a secret society that's running the world and uh, controlling the entire world and you know and all that I, I think it's pretty it's it's almost insulting to them by saying that they're you know they're they got these little you know i mean i mean even the small smallest gangsters in the streets don't 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 have symbols and like handshakes it's really it's really uh kind of cute to me like how people were really sure about it uh-huh i saw this symbol and i saw this this logo and I think it's it's to it's to educate people to bring their energy and their mentality out of that and some kids still don't get it and you know that's that's basically this 
the, you have to really graduate out of it and think that there's a bigger world out there. If sure. there is a threat out there, you know, it's it's poverty. If there's a threat out there, it's it's not educating ourselves. If there's a threat out there, it's it's not communicating with each other. If there's a threat out there, it's it's racism, it's hatred. If there's a threat out there, it's it's not uh, respecting each other's I don't know cultures, religions. It's not respecting uh, another human being. I think those are the bigger threats than somebody holding some kind of <laughs> symbol. <laughs> like it's so comical to me. So I actually did it on purpose just to mess with those people and and um, and just to make them think. I think. So you guys got your answer. Next time, don't ask me whether I'm Illuminati or Sir is Illuminati. Nobody's an Illuminati. Yes, I am not. This, this, I made this when I didn't even know that there is something called as Illuminati existed. Look, <laughs> that's <She's> Illuminati. <laughs> a blue flag. Everything. Oh my god. I have a ring. I have a. Okay. <laughs> so getting back to skull and bones. Now everything is clear. There were a lot of questions. Uh, one thing I want to clear over here. I don't like people who use other people's name or try to put other people down and then try to get fame and all. So this is for all of you. Uh, that is why I wanted to clear this question because I was going to make a video out of it, but then I wanted Sir to say it by himself, so I was not wrong. So thank you so much for clearing it. I think sorry fans ki ye, ye clear ho But anyways, Bohemians are Bohemians. Like Sir said, we don't take a no as an answer. Okay, so uh, moving on to Skull and Bones, which is your favorite track uh, from the entire album? Oh man, uh, I think um, I usually don't like to pick favorite tracks. Um, I think it changes with time. <laughs> right now, I think Nazare Meli is. I also love that track. It's like on repeat. I feel like I've gone back to the 90s and where the music was pure. Yeah. That's when. It gives you that entire feeling. Wow. One controversial question I want to ask you that everybody has been asking and it's there over the internet. Who did you write the song Bijli for? Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, man. <laughs> I think uh, it's, a, it's a track that could be... It could be about my little sister. It could be about my friend's daughter. It could be about... A friend of mine. It could be about someone's girlfriend. It could be about. It could be about any girl, and I think it's uh, it's an issue that I wanted to bring up, um, and mostly the track tackles or surrounds the issue of peer pressure. I think a lot of young girls uh, go from being independently active um, to being. Um, peer pressured by the society pressure that they that, that put um, that's put on them from the society whether it's them looking at other girls on Instagram whether it's they looking at all these uh, reality show superstars and I think they uh, like, like to mimic them mm. they sometimes girls each other they're just competing with each other um, and they really kind of get out of the box and do things that they don't want to do and it's about that one girl um, it's um, it's really close to my heart I think my inspiration is so many girls that I've seen around me whether it's friends whether it's relatives that I've seen growing up and then they some of them are are, are grounded enough thank God that they, they pursue what they love what they do uh, they don't get um, affected by the peer pressure some do you know some start dressing a certain way some start thinking that oh you know whether it's I don't look right um, and I think God has made every all of us beautiful in every way you just have to look past what the society tells you is beautiful uh, I really don't like you know all this um, pressure that's put on I mean guys I feel deal with it maybe less um we're 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 we have a thicker skin about it you know we we become arrogant and we can kind of go past it and i don't know I, I'm, I'm not really you know i was i was as a kid i was raised by my mom then i have three older sisters and now i have seven nieces and i have i've been around so many females in my 
in my life that I've been a little sensitive to that issue a little more than as far as guys are concerned. I think guys are fine, they'll be fine. <laughs> but I think girls, uh, is they become sisters, they become mothers, they become uh, such a critical part of our society, they raise us. There's nothing without women uh, in this world that can happen, I feel. So, Bijli is this is this one girl that goes from being, you know, supposedly perfect, hardworking, successful, to where she st gets affected and uh, she gets peer pressured by the society, by by the scene, by friends, and then she gives in, hmm. and she gives up, and she fails to. Um, so to me, it's it's not. Well, just to answer your question, it's not about a one girl. It's it's just a. It could be any girl. That's nice. Yeah. <laughs> That's I mean, you him. might know a girl that. I that know a lot of girls. Yeah. You know what I mean, you might know Abhi somebody. Abhi, I've heard story. Bola, so my mind was very full of girls running around. Yeah. So that's really nice. Don't ask this question again. Okay. <laughs> and so. I just want to point out that I've always made jo made made jo pyara. Um, hip hop culture say ya uh, rap music say wo ni uh, jin rappers ko maine suna hai bachpan se uh, whether it's nas um whether it's big pun whether it's uh you know tupac notorious big whether it's you know um you can go on and on these storytelling rappers nas being on the top of the list i think mm -hmm. um they've always used they've always used rap music to teach me so much and i'm so thankful to those guys uh for showing me that and then um and i'm i think bijli is a track that is very close to the articulation that rap music actually is i think a lot of time or majority of still hamari jo society hai wo wo bhi bhi rap music se बहुत सरफसी तौर पर रिलेट करती है जिस तरह उनके लिए रैप म्यूजिक जो है वो एक फन पार्टी यू नो वेरिंग क्लोथ्स एंड मेकिंग म्यूजिक वीडियोस एंड बट टू मी रैप म्यूजिक इज बिन यू नो आई 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 ग्रोन अप टू रैप सॉन्ग्स दैट आई रिस्पेक्ट एज मच एज आई रिस्पेक्ट जगजीत सिंह गजल टू मी देर इज रैप सॉन्ग दैट आई लिसन टू एन आई क्राइड देर इज रैप सॉन्ग दैट आई लिसन टू अ थाउजेंड टाइम्स आई लर्न सो मच आउट ऑफ इट एंड इट्स थैंक एंड आई एम थैंकफुल टू दोज Poets, those shyer, shyery style rappers that have done that, you know, and and um, Bijli is is an is an example of that. And to me, rap music is Bijli is like the epitome of that energy that I think rap music is to me at least. It's rap music to me is not even about partying. It's not even about clubbing. Or it's it's not even music to me. It's it's like. it's people talking to people and you know sharing their stories and using that rap as a vehicle to get that energy the message out so that's what if you listen to that people that listen to bijli and and i want to thank all the people that have listened to that track and have related to it with that with that kind of energy i'm thankful to those people because you are the people that actually represent the 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 energy that I'm I'm after to begin with I think those are the people that understand what I'm trying to do um I'm still consistently compared with with industry and pop music and hey why don't you make movies and why don't and I I it's like to me it's baffling like I you know my label tells me hey make music videos and to me it's like that is so boring to me I think real thing that I do is is I write and I tell you something and Um, I'm I just want to thank the people that I've learned uh, that I've heard that song and appreciated it because I was really scared. I really thought those people were like almost dying out like it's we we where are those people that still respect the shyery the res yeah. respect the musicality of it. They're they're less but with the response that I've gotten from Bijli I'm I'm so thankful that they're still there. <laughs> so thank you guys. Most welcome. I'll say welcome on behalf of all the fans. You, um, from the day you started till now, beach me. I say, बहुत time आया होगा when you 
लाइक यू वेंट डाउन एंड यू आर कर्सिंग दैट सिचुएशन कर्सिंग दैट टाइम बट वो सब पार करके यू आर नाउ हियर सो डू यू एवर गो बैक एंड थिंक कि यार मेरे साथ वो हुआ था मैं तब ऐसे करता था बट अच्छा हुआ मेरे साथ हुआ मैं अभी यहाँ पर खड़ा हूँ जी बिल्कुल आई थिंक अभी मैंने कभी सोचा भी नहीं था कि मैं आम, आ, अभी भी कुछ लोग हैं वो यकीन नहीं करते कि आई डोंट आई डोंट स्मोक आई डोंट ड्रिंक आई डोंट डू एनी आई डोंट डू क्लबिंग आई डोंट डू एनी आई डोंट इवन स्मोक शीशा आई डोंट इवन आई डोंट इवन ड्रिंक वाइन आई डोंट आई एम सो बी ऑन ऑल दैट um all that to me is it's still kind of weird to me because i didn't think i would be at this place mm-hmm. first of all and at the same time it feels great to have graduated out of all that and i think uh i still want to thank my fans without them it was impossible i think my fans have always been you know i lost my mom when i was a kid mm-hmm. and the music became my mother and then after the music i think it's my fans that have become my mother like they um they give me they remind me that someone's out there is worried about me someone's out there that cares for me someone's out there that that needs me uh and they need me to be something other than just inverted i'm very inverted person even as a kid i didn't have too many friends i would sit at alone i would just I wouldn't do any like I wouldn't go out or anything. I was like just very very inverted type of person. So I think my fan consistently like they knock, they wake me up, they remind me and and that to me is age me aake mujhe pata chal raha hai uski us cheez ki ahmiyat kitni zyada hai aur us cheez ki badolat main yahan hu us cheez ki us cheez ki wajah se uh but I, like everyone tells you, you know It, you are a product of what you've been through mm. and you even the bad things that you've done even the bad places that you've been in whether it's you know all this drinking smoking you know being involved in in, in not taking life seriously so mm. to speak um maybe that was that had to happen for me to have become what i am but um आई थिंक उर्दू में एक कहावत है कि दे रहा है दुरुस्त है आई थिंक मैं अपने आप को खुशकस्मत समझता हूँ कुछ ऐसे भी आर्टिस्ट हैं जो मेरे बाद आए हैं उन्होंने नाम भी कमाया लेकिन इन चीज़ों ने यू नो अपनी अपने बिजनेस को सीरियसली ना लेना या अपनी सेहत को सीरियसली ना लेना या अपने आपको जो रिस्पेक्ट दी गई है लोगों की तरफ से उस चीज़ को सीरियसली ना लेने की वजह से वो अफेक्ट हुए यू नो वो भी आप चीज़ देखते हैं उससे भी आपको सीखने को मिलता है बहुत साथ साथ खुशकस्मती है मेरी यू नो गाड्स ऑन माई साइड फॉर ब्लेसिंग मी विद विद द पीपल एज फर्स्ट माई फैमिली माई वाइफ शी इज बिन रियली सपोर्टिव शी नेवर रियली टू काफ़ी मेरे फैन समझते हैं कि यू नो आप डिसाइड नॉट टू स्मोक और ड्रिंक इज बिकॉज आई गाट मेरिड इज बिकॉज ऑफ माई वाइफ बट इट्स नॉट इट्स नॉट एट ऑल ट्रू आई मीन uh she knows i'm a i'm a very very independent type of person when it comes to my life she have never been involved in telling me what to do she's been supportive um she's respected the distance of giving me that uh space. giving me the space giving me the command to do what i want to do um i can i can i i cannot tell you that i did I, you know i am here for some one reason i think mm-hmm. it's i think it's love of life it's uh it's it's slowly and gradually i'm getting older and now i respect the the res- the respect that i've given the, the position that i've given the love that i've given and um and i'm just glad that i'm i'm i, I thank god that i didn't get too old or i didn't get into some some bad habits so badly where it was no point of return i'm just thank um i'm thankful to the energy to god to my fans that have that have been always telling me that hey i have a bigger purpose so now i think um 
it's almost a new beginning for me and and that's why i named my album the final chapter i think it's 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 finally now i believe i'm at a place where i'm i want to do things that i've never done you know i've signed with t-series um as a you hear my album with them um and now i'm signed with them as an artist as a content provider as a music producer uh, you know that my whole album was produced by myself and i also plan to produce more music whether it's producing in bollywood whether it's producing other artists uh, whether it's going back to music that i did before rap which is ghazal music i've yes. written do you know i've written ghazals no i don't know about See? this i just heard your rap music that's it well, there you go so now i think it's the final chapter i uh, i think again to answer your question i'm uh, sometimes i i look at jo mera bachpana tha i mean usme jo maine galtiyan ki hain i'm just thank uh, thank god that i'm uh, i've been able to go past it and and i'm here and i if i have the support that you guys give me i i i'm just getting started i think what all of the story you should never give up take it from bohemia <laughs> So things are getting very serious now. I could just keep on talking with you. So quickly, let's get to the fun part. Like uh, last time, I asked you these weird questions. So get yes. ready for like a lot of bullets of uh, weird questions. More so let's start. Questions. What do you think about when you're alone in the car? Oh man, I <laughs> if I close my garage door at the house, if I uh, did I leave the lights on <laughs> in the house. and uh why people are honking at me <laughs> thought I was driving fine and why is that cop looking at me <laughs> stuff like that our okay, next question do you have a good memory or you have a goldfish memory uh, i think i have a dangerous memory sometimes people get scared when i tell them the things that i remember in terms of remembering the detail and you know i um, never have to practice my songs so i think it comes from having to remember your lyrics but i have i'm i uh i scare my team members because i have such a <laughs> such a vivid memory that they cannot believe that i remember so much okay which song apart from yours best describes your work work ethics if i would want to put your work your life okay let's take a life your life also it become uh-huh. easier into one song so which is that one song that will best describe it I think it's uh by Tupac. I'm mad at you. I knew this would come coming. Okay, how would you convince someone who has lost all hope and who is giving up on himself or herself? So, what is that one line you will tell that person to convince him ki bhaiya don't give up? I think it's um just they have to <coughs> all they have to do is look at my me and and they'll believe that anything can possibly anything can happen. the fact that um uh when i moved to america there were two languages that i could not speak up until the age of i think 12 or 13 hmm. there were two languages that i could not speak english and punjabi punjabi okay okay when you travel to a new city or a new country like you for the shows you go for the gigs so what is that first thing you notice about the country or the city um it's people it's accents it's different languages is the way sometimes it's the same language but it's spoken differently i'm almost like a linguist i love <laughs> language okay so since you travel a lot you must be staying at these lot of hotels so what is the best part of a hotel best part of hotel is room closed with no one in it with me just a good documentary channel if it's during the day or if it's i'm in somewhere alone in some out there in some country and it's in the middle of the night i would love to watch like a horror movie you do think it's weird <gasps> but i love it I, people get so weirded out by it but i when i'm alone i'm so thrilled like i you know it's i if i'm up at 3 in the morning all i want to do is be alone and just watch like the scariest movie i i don't know it's bizarre like a lot of people When I talk about it they're like just don't talk about it and that's all I want to do and I was going to ask you the next question what is your favorite comedy movie I want to scra- scrap that question what is, which is your favorite horror movie My favorite comedy movie is Nacho Libre 
<laughs> by Jet Black. Okay. Jack Black, Nacho Libre. I love that movie. I relate to that movie. And you can as watch a, it anytime. As a comedy movie, and it's has a very serious underlying meaning to it, which mm. I personally personally relate to. Um, a role model for a lot of girls that they oh, that think um, they can't do whatever they want. I think you definitely show that in your energy and your work ethic and just the just the leadership role that you have decided to take. Uh, I think a lot more girls need to look up to you and, and I'm do inspired by want. you. As you said, I don't take a no as an answer. And once I've set a goal, I'm going to achieve it. I tell everybody I'm unstoppable now. Cool. Thank you. Now me and Blonda, we're going to go party. So yes. you guys <laughs> go home. Turn it off. Go read a book. Study. <laughs> read a book. Yes, that's what he says. Read a book. Tabhi tumhare dibag se nikal jayega. Edo pilati kaun hote hai? Kaun nahi? Go read. Keep yourself updated by subscribing to my YouTube channel and get a notification whenever there's another video uploaded. And don't forget, go and like my page on Facebook and also you can follow me on Twitter, Snapchat and on Instagram. Spice. Full to twist it.